Wow, what a start to the morning. The light is absolutely beautiful. I didn't expect it. It was forecasted rain. Thankfully, got it wrong. It got it wrong. So, whenever I, whenever I think of autumn in the Lake District, I always think of one area, and that area is Borrowdale, and that's where I am. That's where I started from. I started from Rossworth, and the hike today is just going to take me up to one fell, Rossworth Fell, or also known as Betty. I know it's Betty Betty Boo. Um, yeah, the light is absolutely wonderful. There's hardly any clouds in the sky. Um, I'm just parked at a fairly busy side of the road, Borrowdale Road. Um, but yeah, yeah, autumn is upon us. A nice chill. I say nice chill. There's hardly any wind. I've got the old hat on. Not quite opted for the uh, gloves, but you never know, I've brought them. And of course, I've got the seasonal cold as well, hence the hoarseness in my voice. But I tell you what, a nice raw copse of trees, backlit by the light. It's got to be taken. It's going to be the first shot of the day. So the GoPro is exposing correctly, but when I'm taking a image, a photograph, I'm not even looking at the histogram. In fact, I'm probably overexposing. But I don't mind that. That's good because the whole point of this shooting into the sun is that big mass of light in the image. And that just creates that additional ambience, feel to the image. Have I said it's beautiful yet? shadow at the moment the light is just ahead of me though uh, this path slowly weaves me round to the top of the Wainwright summit which is Betty Boot um, goes via tan at leaves as well what a wonderful name so we'll see what we can find there gloves are on definitely a nip in the air um, in terms of photography it's um, to be honest a longer lens would be beneficial here, um, but I haven't got one of those as yet. But yeah, the, the light is hitting the tops. It's slowly getting less and less harsh. We've got a, a veil of cloud slowly coming over. I tell you, you've got to take advantage of the first light of those moments, haven't you? But yeah, still. Very nice. Groups of walkers heading up to Gladamara. I'm surprised it's a very popular fell. Very good as well in the right conditions. None so much going up my route, which I don't mind at all. Nice and peaceful. Just took a moment back there, enjoying the sounds, the ambience of the waterfall. Wonderful. Um, yeah, the light started off well, and now it's pretty much gone a blanket of clouds oh in fact it looks a bit ominous over there coming over Fleetwith Pike area I think I might go on pointless now there's no light okay well 
typical Lake District fashion. The weather has closed in, there's a bit of a breeze building up and the rain's come. What proofs are on. Visibility is getting poor as well. Can you just make out Blackster, Fleetwood Pike, Dale Head there, that's where it's coming from. Ah uh, yeah, oh it's getting heavier. Good decision to stop Put the waterproofs on. Is that that? Mm. Is it going to subside? But no. Do it before it get too wet, too cold. It's a very moody town at Leeds. The rain is still coming down, as you can tell. Um, basically, I've been trying to get the best angle. Well, no, I actually got the best angle at all. I'm sure there's a better angle, but from where I am, just off the path. I'll look for the best option available, I should say. What I'm seeing is the light in the background. Um, that's adding the mood. I've really uh, brought the exposure down. I'm trying to get foreground interesting. In terms of the grasses with the rain, shot quite high shot speed as well. Um, using the Peak Design cover. It's doing a pretty good job, uh, but I've still got to shield it whilst I'm talking to you. So yeah, I'm nearly there at the top of Bessie Boot. Let's see what else we can find from the top of there. And there we go, about another 20 metre ascent and it's open up. This is all about layers. I'll turn you around, but basically you've got the foreground here, which is quite interesting actually. Uh, I managed to take a shot where there was light on that and you got your layers um, leading up towards what we got here. Let me get my fells right again. Seathwaite, Seathwaite and onto Green Gable right in the background. Then further beyond that is Great Gable which is just in the cloud. Well, look at that move now. Look at that nice veil just breaking it up. Yes, lovely stuff. I like diagonals. Diagonals. That's interest. Yeah, now looking down at town leaves, it's not it's not the most photogenic, it's not the prettiest, it's not on the same level as what angle tan. Uh, just spin you around. Is that what I mean? No real shape to it. And that's where the sun is as well, so I'm really having to bring the exposure down, but I don't think it really works. That's the shot. And there we have it, the top of Bessie Boot, Rossway Bell. And welcome to some proper Lake District fell weather. This is what I've missed. All spring, all summer, believe it or not. This is where the excitement comes for me, where I get images like that. Forget about your tranquil sunrises, sunsets. This is what I love. This is what I love. So, welcome to my favourite seasons, the start of autumn leading to winter. Proper weather, proper weather, proper kit. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. This is excitement. You gotta take a risk with the gear, yeah, but you can still get it protected. The R6 is not weatherproof, but Peak Design cover is doing its job. You just gotta time it well and be quick. Right. That's it. Till next time, the light's still going. Till next time, I'll see you. Keep smiling, and here's the final camera. Bye bye for now. <laughs>